us. What am I saying? Hallelujah. Wakati tunakutana pamoja, tunaona nguvu za Mungu zikitenda kazi. That's why naambia mtu, ukiwa mgonjwa usikae kwa nyumba uniambie ah mchungaji, mimi nilikuwa mgonjwa sikuja kanisani. Come to church with your sickness and come trusting God, it will go out of that door without that sickness. Hallelujah. Don't sleep on bed. When you sleep on bed, unaambia shetani aendelee kukuwekea uchungu. Come to church. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Last night, the enemy tried to strike me with the cold. When I was just sitting there, nilikuwa natoa makamasi na mwagie kama maji. Na nikaambia shetani, wewe, yani umeona udeta makamasi saa hii ndio education ni siende kuhubiri. Unjishite hapa na kitambaa. I told him listen. Listen. Tunaenda kuhubiri ke? Kesho. Na uweze kusimamisha? He tried to strike Pastor Kevin with a stomach kick. We had to arrest that stomach kick in the night. And he said, listen, she was still did doesn't pray in the morning. Hallelujah. Amen. You must learn your ground. We would have said, Pastor Kevin anganiambia, ai usiku mimi kesho dada peke yako. Ama tutafute mtu mwingine wa kutuongoza maombi. No, she said, I'll read prayers. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, last night I was feeling a big cold was trying to cover me. I said you cannot cover me. Not me. I refuse in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is when we come here, Christ is revealed in his power. When we gather, Christ is revealed in his grace. Christ is revealed in his love. Christ is revealed in his kindness. Yesu anafunuliwa tunamjua. Kumbe tunajua ah mimi nasikia watu wakisema kumbe leo mimi ndio nimepona. So I get to know Christ as a healer. Hallelujah. He was I'm, I'm bound, I'm loosed. I get to know Christ as a deliverer. Hallelujah. If I'm not born again, I receive Christ. I get to know Christ as a savior. Christ is revealed in our midst. Hallelujah. Amen. He is not revealed in a mouse. He is revealed when we gather. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But God is so gracious and long suffering. God is patient. Say patient. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Though these people were slow to believe, Jesus came and joined them so that he may help them believe. Yesu atakuja kwako. I'm telling you, atakuja. I don't know who I'm talking to. Unaulisaka hii mambo nasikia ina ya kweli. But today I come to tell you, vile aliyetana na Cleopas, ambao walikuwa watu hakuwa naamini. Today I proclaim Jesus we will bring a revelation to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ata kufunulia mambo hauko wanajua. He will reveal things. You came for this service and God is speaking and is saying Jesus is slow to is slow is patient. He's long suffering. He is patient with you. He will come to your level. Amen. And he will reason with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. He spoke to them. He expounded the scriptures to them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. One thing I note is that what they were talking about. Now, he acha tuongeleshane hapa, si ndio? Wakati tunakutana tunaongea kama mambo gani na tumeokoka? What do you talk about? Hallelujah. Amen. These people are having a conversation. They were going to a mouse. When we were together, what do we talk about? Wakati tunaenda sokoni, tunatogea nini? Hey. Wakati uko kwa biashara, my sister, unaongeaga nini na watu wako pale? Eh? What do you speak? When you are out there, what do you speak? You are men. What do you talk? Of Manchester United, what do you speak? Hallelujah. Amen. Women, what do we talk? Do we talk one another things that can build one another? Glory to God. Amen. What do we talk? These people who are speaking to one another about Jesus. They were talking about the events of Jerusalem. They were talking about the Messiah, the Son of God, how the priests and the rulers of Israel condemned Jesus and crucified him. That is what they were consumed with. They were not consumed with troubles. They were not consumed with other people's affairs. They were consumed. They were zealous about God. They were talking about Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. They were talking about Jesus. Let's read Luke 24:14. It says, "And they talked together of the, all these things which had happened. And it came to pass when they communed together and reasoned, 
They were communing and reasoning. Walikuwa na argue. Si kwa gile ya kuelezana. Hallelujah. They were communing and reasoning with one another. The Bible says Jesus himself drew near and went with them. Hallelujah. Jesus joined them. Yesu alikuja akaingia katikati yao. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I know you love me when I ask you this question. Najua utanipenda tu. Ambia jina yako najua utanipenda tu. Tapenda tu kanikuuliza hivi. Hallelujah. Jesus joined them. But the question I was to ask you, can the Lord join your company? Can the Lord join you in your daily conversation? What do you converse and speak to one another every day? Yale mambo mnaongea pamoja na marafiki zako, pamoja na watu wao wanatembea. Yesu anaweza kujiunga na hiyo maneno. Can he join you? Is the talk you talk can it attract God? I always ask you yourself that question. Wakati uko kule mtani, wakati uko kazini, mambo yale unaongea inaweza kumvutia Yesu Kristo akaungana na yale maneno. There are things you can speak with one another and Christ joins you. Becomes an agreement. He comes together the third person. Hallelujah. Amen. In your affairs. Amen. There are things you begin to talk as a Christian. Christ comes and goes with you. The Bible says he came. And the Bible says he asked them a question. What is this you are talking about? He knew what they are talking about. The Bible says he joined them. He was attracted to their conversation. Alivutiwa na maongeo yao. Hallelujah. Na akavutiwa baka anataka kuelezea. They did not have answers. But walivutiwa baka akakuja akapatia akajibu maswali yao. Akawaelezea. He wanted to to open them up. There are things you begin to fellowship with one another that makes Jesus. Hallelujah. When I got born again, I used to talk people about Christ. You come to me I'll talk to you about Christ. Young people. I was, I was not married then. Hallelujah. Amen. And sometimes what we want to raise a maswali mangumu. But through that conversation I would hear God speak to me. When I go home God will give me an answer. I you attract God to speak to you. Hallelujah. Amen. You can attract God to reason with you. If you can know vile akutembea. Tunaongea nini tukiwa huko nje? We talk things that can attract Jesus. The Bible says in Malachi 3:16 Bibi nasema Malachi 3:16 Then they that fear the Lord spoke often one to another. And the Lord hand hacked and and handed it. And a book of remembrance was written before them him for them that fear the Lord and thought upon his name. And he said in Malachi 3:17 They shall be mine says the Lord. Mungu akasikia watu akiongea. Mungu anasikia tukiongea. Na saati mwingine wanaweza sikia aseme hao ni watoto wangu kweli. Ai watoto wangu wanaongea hivyo. Haleluya. Amen. And kuna watu asikia kusema aseme ah those are my children. Unasikia wanaongeaje? Anasema he hand people speak. God hands. And he hand them that fear him speak. People who fear God that do not speak nonsense. Sorry to use the word nonsense. Nonsense means things that do not make sense. Nikisema nonsense watu wanafikiria ni kutukana na. When I say nonsense si kutukana. Nikisema kila umeongea doesn't make says none says amen i have to explain myself so that i don't offend people hallelujah amen great there are things that don't make sense hallelujah amen. but them that fear god they have a language tell your name but them that fear god have a language ask yourself are you among those who have a language when you speak do you offend when you speak do you pick, make people to fight one another do you make people to go out out of the church what do you speak to one another hallelujah Amen. the bible says terror bearers are dangerous they make friendship of people to break i wish i can get you the scriptures hallelujah Amen. i like teaching some people so that you may understand why god does not love some things Amen? Amen. one of the things that god hates is called terror bearing say terror bearing terror bearing Meddling in other people's business. When I want to to come and I want to talk to Kuria there, I have to come with a story about about I can use Elijah. I have to come with a story of Elijah to create a story. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Can God be attracted in your house? There are some places God will be attracted to come. 
Because the conversation there blesses his life. He feels good. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll check for that. I think it's Proverbs 20 something. It says, tail bearing destroys friendship, destroys relationships. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says, the tail bearing is like putting wood on fire. Hallelujah. Amen. And it burns and destroys. Hallelujah. Amen. So here in Malachi 3.16, he is saying, Malachi 3.16, them that fear the Lord spoke one to another, and the Lord listened to them. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want God to listen to you, you must order your conversation. You must order what you speak with your mouth. We must be careful what we say. Otherwise, Christ will be silent. Hallelujah. Our two, what we would hear Christo, they were going to a mouse and speaking about Jesus. They were saying how they killed our master. How? And just joined to them to help them understand. When you begin to confess and discuss about Christ, if you have brothers and sisters that you meet, and you have a fellowship of reasoning with one another about the word of God, the Holy Spirit brings revelation. Did you hear me, somebody? The Holy Spirit brings liberation. Amen? Amen. Why do you speak one with another? Them that fear the Lord, their speech attracts God. Can your speech attract the God? Hallelujah. Amen. Right, let me ask this way. What, who does your speech attract? Because your speech can attract people. It can either attract God or attract the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. They spoke in Malachi. It attracted God. A mouse, Cleopas, were discussing that disciple. It attracted Jesus. What does your speech? Who does it attract? If your speech attracts people to fight, if your speech ends up in people hating one another, it does not attract God. It's attracted the devil. But if your speech makes people to come to and together, People to love one another. People to love God. It has attracted Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So as we are children of God, we must have a speech that goes like God, how God speaks. Amen. Amen. Our speech can attract God's attention for a blessing or judgment. Hallelujah. Amen. It can lead us to condemnation on the final day or acquittal. As children of God, we should keep away from idle words. And faithless words and tail bearing. Kama toto wa mungu. Tueke mambo. Eta wa tail with ogu. Mishane. Tail bearing is mishane. Mchungaji. Tail bearing is gossip. Speaking about other people. Amen. Idle words. Faithless words. Words which do not of faith. Eh, kume kauka. This rain has not come to Tangamia. There's no money. That is <laughs> idle words. They cannot build somebody. They cannot make a way for you. Amen? Amen. Even if it is ring, I was telling God the other day. The meteorology are saying Ranina. I say that is the language. What I know, a prophetic one I have is that God will bring rain. The fertilizers being given by the government and the seed are not in vain. They are going to be planted and we are going to harvest. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't talk idle words like the people of the world. Yeah. We are dying. No, I tell them, I'm not going to die. I'll live to declare the works of the Most High God. You become ones of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. So your words, it can lead us to condemnation on the final day or acquittal. As children of God, we should keep away from idle words, faithless and tailbearing. Matthew 12, 36 says, But I say unto you that every word that men shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. Mananoyata to naongea to jua in andikwa. There are books in heaven. Tell you anybody there are books in heaven. And we have a good people. We have angels who keep records. And the Bible says, Mambayata to naongea. They will either be made us to be made free or to be thrown out. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs 6, we are as near by the words we speak. Proverbs 6, verse 2. You are snared with the words of your mouth. You are taken with the words of your mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Manano yada tunaongea inaza kutufunga. Ukuta maisha ako yendelei. Na mungu wakuji. Kasabu ukiongea na ujamichifunga. Mungu wana kuangalia tu. Hallelujah. 
Can you speak things that can attract God to your, te- to your, to your life? There are things you can speak. They make God turn to look at you. Hallelujah. Amen. You know God says, can let me see what they are doing. At Adambi, Bibi Nasema, he heard that the sin of Sodom was so much. He, he, said, he said, he told Abraham, let me turn and see. It has come to me that these people are done abominations. Let me turn and see. I pray that God may turn and see the good things you are doing. Hallelujah. Amen. That God will not turn to see our sin, but turn to see the good things that we are doing. God turn because he has heard you speak a word that is good. Hallelujah. Mungu wa kukauka sababu wa mesikia ya mamba ya rumenena ni mungu wa imani. Matthew 12 verse 7. For by thy words you shall be justified and by your words you shall be condemned. By your words you shall be justified and by your words you shall be condemned. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So Christ walks with us in life and teaches us. If we can recognize him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. We see, sometimes we see only the ministers of the gospel. Sometimes we see people that he says to give us the word, yet we may not recognize Christ speaking through them. Let me say this. Wakati mgele tunawana mtu wanaongea hapa. Ama natumio mtumishu wa mungu. Tunamuana tu huyo mtumishu wa mungu. Lakini ya tuwani Yesu Christo anayaongea ndani ya huyo mtu. If you want to receive from God, always see Christ speaking to you when a man of God is speaking. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Because when you receive a man of God, you receive Christ. Sometimes we speak and say, I had some people, when you give them a prophetic word, there are some people who are given the prophet, they became very angry. Because we think prophecy must be something that will be for only good. But if a prophetic one can say, stop doing this, otherwise you will perish. Somebody will go offended. You are offended. Hallelujah. Because you have not recognized the rebuke of Christ. When Christ joined Cleopas, he rebuked them. He told them, you throw off heart to believe. Are you a kemea? Lakini walisikia vizuri. Mimi nasema their hearts were burning. Hallelujah. But sometimes when we rebuke people, when the word of God rebukes people, they become offended. The Pharisees were offended. And the scribes, when Jesus rebukes them. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. So God says his word through his servants to speak to you. If you can recognize God through them, recognize Christ your life will be good. Amen? The Holy Spirit works with us. But sometimes you are not sensitive to his reading. Rome takatiba kwa dani yetu na temea na sisi. Na natuangresha. Na wakati mungine ya tuelewi. Kama sasa, mkulize. Do you know the season you are in? If you understand the season, you will begin to do something. Hallelujah. If you understand the season, the word of fulfillment, begin to do something. Begin to remember what did God say. And he said, and begin to take a step of faith. Hallelujah. That's how. Because the Holy Spirit has already spoken to you. Amen. Amen. The comforter, he says, the Bible says in John 14, 16, I'll pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I'll give you another comforter. Another means one just like Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ was a comforter. He was Na, na roho mtakatifu ni, ni kama amekuja kuchukua pari pa Kristo. Yale mambo Kristo alikuwa anafanya, roho mtakatifu anafanya. Yale miujiza alikuwa anafanya, roho mtakatifu anafanya. Are you together somebody? Glory to God. The comforter is translated in Greek as parakletos, means one who walks alongside us of us to help us. He is our legal assistant, he is our advocate. Unajua mambo kazi ya advocate. He is our intercessor. He takes the, the place of Christ. God has given us the Holy Spirit to walk with us and return us to the right path. Hallelujah. That you may see the fulfillment of God's word. Mungu ametuma roho mtakatifu aturejeshe. Alituma sio sikuyo a mouse. They Jesus himself came to return these people to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And our time, God has sent the Holy Spirit to return us to the place of his presence. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We must depend on the Holy Spirit. He opens the scriptures for us. 
The way Jesus opened the scriptures for them, akafunulia. Even if you're wrong, takatifu, he opens the scriptures for us. We must learn to walk with the Holy Spirit. Amen? Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible says, when they were reaching a mouse, it was evening, and Jesus pretended he was going the other way. Remember how kuwa namjua ni nani? Walikuwa najua ni mtu anatembea naye. But the Bible says they invited Jesus to their house. Hallelujah. Amen. What happened? When they invited Jesus to their house, let's read Luke 24 that it says, And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and break and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened that they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. Hallelujah. Amen. It is when they invited Jesus to the house that when he broke bread, their eyes were opened. If you want to know God and have a revelation of him, you must do what Cleopas did. Hallelujah. Amen. When they were on the road walking, they were busy. We cannot get a revelation in our busy day. Hello? Si kwa biashara zetu. Na wangalia yule anaomba mwambie saa hii. Atuombi tunasikia neno. Hallelujah. Ukiwa kazini, when you at the work, you may not catch a revelation of Jesus. When you are on a daily schedule, you may not catch the revelation of Jesus Christ. Si wakati uko busy, akili zako zina when you are walking to my house, but Jesus was still speaking to them. When you are doing what Christ will still speak to you and show you what to do. But you will need to do something. They settle down. Say settle down. Hallelujah. Amen. You need after a busy day sometimes to settle down. Unaitajika kuingia pahali uketi na biblia in his presence. And you begin to talk with him. And you begin to study the word and meditate. Unaza kusoma na kulitafakari. And as you do that, he starts to give liberation. Ufunua unaza kukuja. Anajifunua kwako. When he came, he, they invited him to, his, to their, their place. When they sat, he broke bread and they knew who he is. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Have some private time. Kwenu wakati wako, private time. Amen? A personal time in the presence of God to read and meditate on his word. That you catch a revelation. However busy you are, I don't think you can so busy that you can never find time for God. That is disastrous. You are so busy, you cannot have time to study the word. You cannot have time to meditate on the word. If you want to know Christ for yourself, you must also find time for him. They invited him in and sat down and gave them food. They dined, they dined together. Amen? What does Jesus say? He says, I stand at the door and knock. He want to dine with you. Amen? Amen. He want to break the bread with you. But sometimes you are so busy. And our minds blocked by the things of this world. We are so busy with the needs of the world. Those who are blocked. And he want to have time to reveal himself to you. Hallelujah. Let's read Revelation 3.20. What does he say to the church? Sometimes to Navikiri Neno. He was speaking to the church of Laodicea. What did he tell the church? He says in Revelation 3.20. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. That's what he's saying. I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will dine with him and deal with me. And I'm here, Kanisa. Nimesimama kwa mulango. Wingine Christo wa ringi hapa na tukamfungia. Hallelujah. We are so busy. We don't have time for him. But he is knocking. He is saying, my friend, give me time. Give me some space. Let us sit, sit and reason together. To kai pamoja to onget to semesane. Let us talk with one another. Hallelujah. And he says, he will dine with you. What does that mean? The day was the Cleopas, he dined with them, he broke bread. Their eyes were opened. When he dines with you, your eyes will be opened. And those eyes, we read in Ephesians 1.18, the eyes of your understanding. Hallelujah. Macho yako ya kuelewa na ufahamu. Itafunguliwa wakati utakuwa mtu wakuwa na nafasi na kristo pamoja muna kaa. Muna mega mkate. Yaya ndiye mkate wa minguni. He is the bread that was broken. Hallelujah. Amen. And you'll be able to dine together. Let me tell you, if you are sick, sickness will go. Yourself, when you are just meditating on the word, your sickness will go. Hallelujah. There are some problems you don't need to go through for somebody to pray for you. Sitaisha. You will get revelation. Some of you will get, maybe God made you a business person. He will give you ideas. 
Hallelujah. Amen. There was a man I was told by his brother. He told us a story. He said, this man, Biasharaka in Zanguka, he can start a business, it, it, it prospers then, if it breaks down, or it does not work anymore. That man would go and sit in his house, or go and shut himself somewhere for three days. Him alone and God. Him alone. He would sit down, nanaka, kwa siku tatu. Fasting, nanaka, panangoja mungu. Nata toka hapu baka, atasutikie, amepewa what he needed from God. And he is given an idea. Anapata idea, another another biashara. And wherever he begins a business, my friend, you know, say this guy is using other powers. Hallelujah. But he had, say he had. When you died with the master, he gives you ideas. When you died with the masters, he gives you grace. When you died with the master, he directs your paths. How I pray that we may always often seek him. Hallelujah. We may always find some private time. Tunakana yeye. We hear him. Tunamuskiriza. There are things you are, you are going through, you not go them, through them. Hallelujah. Because he will put something in you. Hallelujah. He will take you back to where the power of God is. He will take you back to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. When they went back to Jerusalem, hallelujah, glory to God. When they went back to Jerusalem, Jesus also came there. He wanted them, all of them to be there together. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. They have been, their hearts were burning when they were on the road, but they never recognized him. They recognized him when they sat to eat together. When you start beginning, that's why you say, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship. Fellowship is not done elsewhere. Fellowship is you sit together and you talk. We have communion. It's called communion. Communion with him. Communion with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm trying to finish because my time is almost gone, but I have some very few minutes. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's when we witness Christ that he appears to us and that's, and that's what we are saying. He can. Amen? When Christ comes, we begin to witness him. And when we begin to witness Christ, three of us are witnessing Christ. Amen? When you witness Christ, you begin to see his ability. What you witness about him is what you see. Did you hear me? What you talk about your Christ is what you see. When you talk about healing, he is a healer. Amen? What do you witness Christ about? He comes to reveal himself in what you are witnessing him about. Ukisema, mamba yetu ni mabaya sana. Hata kuja, utaona mabaya, sinio? Ukisema, anatuponya, na nimeona, anakuja kuponya. Hallelujah. What do you witness Christ about? We witness about his ability, his love, his faithfulness, his power, his authority. Amen? Amen. They are the personal encounter with Christ. God wants to reveal you the reason Christ, to have a personal encounter. When they invited Christ in their house, they had a personal encounter. He revealed himself to them, and they saw. Hallelujah. On which road are you? To Damascus or to a mouse? But on the road, remember, Christ can reveal himself to you. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look for a personal encounter. What I would say, Mujungaji alisema aliona Yesu Kristo, alimfanyia hivi. Niliona mfulani alisema aliponywa hivi. Na wewe, amekufanyia nini? You can have a personal how do you know the Lord at a personal level? You cannot know the Lord at a personal level unless you create time that you can fellowship with him and you can witness. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Jesus wanted to reveal himself to his disciples. So he, he try, instructed them the next course. When Cleophas had an encounter with Christ, they went back to Jerusalem the same night. That's when he was going to they were going for comfort. If they were going for something important, would they have gone back to Jerusalem? They not fear darkness. They went back at night from a mouse back to Jerusalem. And by the time they arrived and entered to the house, when they are still witnessing what they saw, the encounter, Christ appeared. Hallelujah. And say, have peace. Hallelujah. And he gave them instruction. He instructed them what to do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I have come to say that God is restoring church the right doctrine to the right teaching. God is going to reveal his son to the church of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The church is being restored to the praise God ordained it to be. 
In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For it's a time of fulfillment of God's word. It is time of outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The time of great evangelism and with signs and wonders has come. Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Spirit is instructing the church. And those who understand, God will use them mightily. Those who understand what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church. God is going to use them rightly. Luke 24, 46. Jesus said to them, Thus it is written that at the behalf of Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. Luke 24, 47. And that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And your witnesses of this thing. I come to proclaim today, God is restoring the church. And the preaching of repentance and remission of sin is coming back to church. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is restoring people. And I'm here to rule the Jerusalem. To connect Christo Ariyoni Nuriwa. Christo Ariyoni Kufa Nakavufuka. Akuta Kuwa Nathabi Kanisani. When you see the risen Christ, there will not be seen in church. Because the message of repentance and remission of sin. Unchumbe wa kutubu na kwacha dhambi. Unarudi Kanisani. It is coming back to church. Hallelujah. It will be a place of righteousness again. It will be a place of holiness. Hallelujah. Because that is what God told, Jesus told them. He said you shall be witnesses. You shall preach repentance and remission of sin. Muta umbiri. Watu wakatubu dhambi. Na kasamewa dhambi. Wakafanyu watakatifu. Hiyo ni anasema itaumbiliwa na kanisa. Churches today must go back to the instruction of the master. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going back to preach holiness and righteousness that our talk and our relationship with Christ may change. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is restoring the church holiness and righteousness among us believers. Our character is changing. Hallelujah. Amen. The church, people who can see Christ in the church because they're witnessing will not just be the power of God, but also righteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. The only way you can differentiate ourselves is holiness and righteousness. Hallelujah. Sia watu wanalea kwa wanga, sindio? Hallelujah. Utajulika na juwe ni tofauti na wawo. Holiness and righteousness. And then the power of God will go with you. Hallelujah. People see holiness and righteousness and the power of God doing work. They will say, this is a body of Christ. 